I really can't believe that this happened, but it did. So let's talk about it. Hi, my name is May. If this is your first time ever seeing me, I create content all over the internet about lifestyle, fashion, planners, organization, Amazon finds, all of my favorite things. And I have been creating content since 2010. I had a blog and my very first YouTube video was in November of 2012. So almost 12 years ago, I've been doing this for a long time. And I know that things have changed. The landscape of social media in general has changed. And it was probably a lot easier to get monetized when I did. I was trying to find my email of how I got monetized or when, and I couldn't find anything specific, but I know that it was around 2015. At that point, I was already monetized. So I don't really remember the process back then or how quickly it happened. So I know you're watching this video because you probably really wanna know either what I did and how you can prevent that from happening to you. So let me tell you quickly the YouTube monetization process as it stands now. If you're watching this, you've probably been researching and know already, but just in case you don't know, the monetization process requires 4,000 watch hours plus 1,000 subscribers. There are different levels, so please make sure that you do your own research, check the rules as they stand when you are applying, and remember there are different levels, but that's the basics of it. Now, as you can see from my channel, I have the required number. Last time I checked, I was around 17,000 subscribers. And again, that's because I had a bustling YouTube channel. I was creating videos, getting tons of views, getting lots of subscribers. Things were going great. I was in my heyday. And as I progressed on my YouTube journey, various different social media platforms came to be. And I felt that I was established enough on YouTube that I could start to explore other areas. So let me back up and tell you a little bit about how this all started. And then I promise I will tell you how I lost my monetization. So as I said, I started creating content on my blog in 2010. That is when blogs were really big. We would get on Pinterest. We would support each other. Um, we would leave comments. People were actually reading blogs and it was so fun. It was a true community. I won't go into my entire YouTube journey. If that's something that's interesting to you, let me know and I can film a video all about that specifically. But just know I've been creating videos for a long time. I was doing really well. And then I just kind of moved on to another platform because I took YouTube for granted. So that was probably my biggest mistake. My videos were on here, they were doing well, they were still getting views, and I decided to explore other social media channels. If you're a creator, I'm sure you can appreciate that it's just really difficult to be on all the different platforms at the same time. So I started to invest my time in other social media platforms. I am an Amazon affiliate and I was seeing huge returns um, with my affiliate links on those other platforms. And so I kind of just let YouTube go, um, not for a ton of time, I think it was just a few months. Well, it turns out that it was six months. Here we go, this is what you've been waiting for. I get an email from YouTube and they say that, hey, you haven't created video, you haven't created content, a video in a while, you need to upload something. It was kind of a, a vague email and they said that you could you know lose your monetization because you haven't been creating they want to have this ecosystem of creators monetizing partners who are constantly creating new content which i understand and i appreciate and i thought okay i put it in my calendar i'm going to create a video on youtube and upload it so i read the email i i knew what i was doing i put it in my calendar and i don't know where the wires got crossed but are you ready for this? One day, I missed the six month upload deadline by one day. It's true, 
one day. So of course I email support, I'm chatting with them. I did everything I begged, please let me have my monetization back. And the answer was no. So I missed it by one day. Do not make my mistake. Pay attention to these emails that YouTube sends you. Don't put them in your calendar on the day of. Give yourself plenty of time. I really should have listened to my own planning and organization tips because I should have scheduled out the task um, and set reminders for myself. And I just really didn't. So I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't have any infringements. Um, it really was just an oversight on my part and um, just not being able to do it all. I spent years on the internet talking about planning and organization. And this was just a classic example of we can't do it all and we have to take care of ourselves. I needed a break. I needed to be able to spend my time focusing on um, different platforms and I just let YouTube go and I missed the deadline by one day. That's really just all there is to it. So I'm back. I'm focusing on YouTube. I'm giving it my energy and my plan is to just follow the rules and do what I'm supposed to do. Get my watch hours. I already have my subscribers. I have some amazing content coming up and that's it really. So my biggest tip to you is just get yourself organized and pay attention to the emails and just put in the work. I know that it's difficult. I know that social media can take its toll, so don't give up. If creating content is something that you love and you want to do, it is absolutely possible to make money and make good money from it. So I hope that this was helpful for you, at least a little entertaining. I hope that you'll subscribe, share this with any of your other content creator friends. You can find me all over the internet. I'll have any links that you need down below. I'll try to find you some more resources as well. So always check the description box, find me um, on other social media, and I'll see you again real soon.